first of all, all of you made all these coins and the rings. Go back to one of the first teachings we did. First of all, you wind the coil anti-clockwise. Then, when you put it in, when you nano-coated it, none of you, or most of you, forgotten what I said from day one in nano-coating. When you made your coil, you put a voltmeter, blackened here, reddened here. You have made the nanomaterials on your material, but with not putting the voltmeter, your polarity is all over the place. You have to align it. When you don't align it, and then you put it in to do, you have created a chaos in your field. None of you will get the result correct. If you do not put a voltmeter on the both ends in the first coating, we have rejected a batch of material last week. I was yesterday in the factory office. I said, this is a waste of time. Oh, we forgot. I said, blow it. You have to start again. Because if you do not, that little time, milliseconds, you put with a volt, it shows five millivolts. That's not important. The important thing is you realign your plasmas in your layers. Then you get super you get correct conduct. The, the cross section of the field doesn't come if you put a one clockwise, anti clockwise into each other. Your coating is wrong. Most of you which report we don't get any result, re nano coat, get rid of your nano coating, re nano coat, most probably you've forgotten to do this. You need realignment of the field. And the realignment of field nanomaterial comes through the direction of flow. You dictate, you show it where. Especially those of you who start mass production. If you miss this one, you'll find you have a problem with most of your units.